In this tutorial, I'll show you how to take the shorts and the boots that I made in previous tutorials and make them into the lower body of a character. I'm going to open the file with the shorts that I made in a previous tutorial. I want to put mirror back on, so I'm going to select an edge and I'm going to press B on the keyboard and drag with the mouse as near as I can to the center. Now I've only selected the visible faces, so I'm going to click the limit selection to visible button and do that again. Press B as near as I can to the center. I've selected all the faces. I'm going to press delete on the keyboard, delete vertices, and I'm going to add modifier mirror. Now I'm going to select uh, an edge at the bottom of the shorts. I'm going to hold down Alt and that will select a ring of edges. I'm going to zoom back a little bit using the mouse wheel and pan using shift and middle mouse button. Then I'm going to press E to extrude followed by Z or Z for the Z or Z direction. I'm going to type in a numeric value of minus 3.5 and enter. I'm going to select a new edge. I'm going to press B on the keyboard for B select and select all the vertical edges. I'm going to click subdivide and set the number of cuts to 6. In the right view I'm going to zoom back with the mouse wheel and hold down shift middle mouse button to pan that up. Make sure proportional editing is enabled. I'm going to hold down alt and select a bottom edge and that selects a ring of edges. I'm going to press S to scale and I'm going to shrink that in. I'm going to use the mouse wheel to increase the area of proportional editing and I'm going to enter a numeric value of 0.6 and enter. Now I'm going to go into object mode and I'm going to hide the trousers, the pants, clicking the eye there and I'm going to go to the file, append to bring in the boot that I made in a previous tutorial, find the file with the boot in, go into the file, go into the object folder and unfortunately not renamed, there is my boot Pen that in. Make sure the boot is selected and press S to scale to make the boot bigger. I'm going to enter a numeric value of 2.3. In the top view I'm pressing R to rotate and I'm going to rotate enter 90 degrees. I'm going to turn on the 3D manipulator widget and use the tips of the arrows to move the boot down and across. I'm going to re-display the shorts, the now long shorts, and I'm going to select them, go to the material button, and change the diffuse color to a bright color. And I'm going to select the boot and do the same. I'm zooming back with the mouse wheel. And I'm holding down shift and middle mouse button to pan. Now the boot is a little bit narrow, so to make it wider, I'm going to press S to scale, followed by X for the X direction, and I'm going to enter a numeric value of 1.2. And now it's just a, a matter of positioning the boot at the end of the leg and fine tuning the position with the 3D manipulator widget and checking that it looks okay. To connect the boot to the legs I'm going to select the boot, hold down shift, select the legs and simply click join. Now because at no point have I applied the subdivision surface modifier to the boots it's been lost so I'm going to have to do control Z to undo that. Select the boot, go to modifiers and apply the subdivision surface modifier. Now I can do the join, select the boot, hold down shift, select the legs, click join and because the mirror modifier is still on we get both boots. I'm going to apply the mirror modifier and finish there. I'm going to put all the files I've used plus the finished file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.